This was not St. Louis County's finest moment. The community I love was thrust into the national spotlight for bad behavior, xenophobia, racism, and resistance to recommendations from scientists and doctors, including the CDC. As I sat at the dais with a mask on and watched the crowd, I listened to the anger, and I saw the frustration. I have seen, as I did that night, the emotions around public health orders and other decisions by public health experts to keep people from getting sick and dying. I recognize this fear and anxiety, and I do appreciate hearing these concerns. However, it saddens me that protecting lives has become divisive. We must come together to get through this pandemic. It's the only way forward. If there was ever a time for bitter partisanship, this is not it. This type of behavior distracts from the incredibly difficult work of our public health experts and hospital systems over the past 18 months. We all need to be on the right side of history. There's a court case this morning on the county mask requirement which went into effect along with the one in the city last week. We are hopeful the judge will agree that our mask requirement is proper and needed in St. Louis County, as was seen last Tuesday night. Masks can help us slow the virus and keep our businesses open and our schools on track to open in an in-classroom learning environment. St. Louis County's mask requirement is an easy way to make a big difference. Yes, it's unfortunate that many of those Tuesday night ignored the law, but that's what happened. And as a result, this is where we are, wondering how many people were exposed to the virus and how many people will become sick from the virus. It's time to stop the name calling, the intimidation, and the spreading of misinformation. It's time to work together. This variant is a real threat to our community and our country. The anger, real and process, must end if we want this pandemic to end. The investigation into Tuesday night's meeting and the treatment of Dr. Khan is ongoing. We have asked for all video that captured what happened inside the chambers and in the lobby. Many people who attended the meeting were taking photos and videos. We hope they come forward to help us with our investigation. The virus is raging. We must take it seriously and put steps in place to curb it. In the past two months, we have seen our cases rise at alarming levels. Two months ago, we were around 40 cases a day. We are now at 274 cases per day. Early in the summer, our infection rate was 2.9%. Today, it's 11.4%. We need more people getting tested. We need more people getting the vaccine. And we need to unite against this 100-year event. The longer we fight public health decisions, the longer the pandemic continues to have the upper hand. Thank you for joining me here today.